interpersonal communication. Oh man, oh woman, we're in chapter four. I'm so excited about chapter four. I really am. The, uh, the, the power of words in our language. This one, this one, this lecture is going to be short and sweet. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, sure, right, Joe Swack, every time you say that it's 22 minutes. No, no, no. Boiling it down now, all right? The title of this lecture is to be a verbal chameleon, all right? Chameleon, you know, those little lizards with the prehensile tail that have been around since the Pleistocene. What? What? Okay, listen. They change colors to fit their environment. It's exactly what I mean when I talk about verbal chameleons. You need to change your color when you go into different environments. You need to use different words. You need to be able to understand different words to fit in. And that's, that's my goal. That's what I want. I want you to be able to fit in to almost any environment, if not any environment. All right? I really do. Uh, uh, we talked briefly about having the vocabulary uh, so that you can fit into places like St. Olaf and the University of Minnesota and St. Thomas. We talked briefly about fitting in by understanding the language of the academy. Uh, trust me. Trust me, please. All right. Uh, if that... If, if that's not within your scope, okay, you might be one of those people that they weed out. I, I want you to love the language. I want you to have a command of the language. Okay? I really do. I really do. Here's how. No words. Love words. You know, when I was ripping the words out of the dictionary. Great words, like consternation. Consternation. <laughs> Threw that on the floor. Wasn't in your, wasn't in your wheelhouse. Wasn't in your vocabulary. All right. I want you to be able to fit in and morph. I want you to be able to fit into the boardroom. I want you to be able to fit into the common places, like the commons. I want you to be able to fit in when you do a when, when you do a presentation, I want you to be able to command the room in that job interview for the job of your dreams. All right. That's what I mean by verbal chameleon. All right. Good, good, good. Here's, here's how I'm going to describe it. I'm going to suggest that it's an adjustment to the current environment, a, a, a vocal adjustment to the current environment, like school, or the, the job, or your home, or the party. And trust me, you're already toying with this concept and this construct. You know that there are some things you can't say at home or on the dinner table that you could very well say at, at the party late on a Saturday night. Okay? Now, you know this, right? There are some things you can't say in school that maybe you can say at home, and so on and so on. But my hope is that you can also grow that vocal structure, that understanding of words. I want you to love words so that you can use them to your advantage. Seriously, become the elite. All right. All right, vocal chameleon. And then, please understand this. Please understand this. The, the things you say, the words that come out of your mouth will equate to who you are. And nobody's telling you this either. Who you are in the minds of other folk, the minds of the people around you, in the eyes of your friends and family, who you are will be the words that come out of your mouth. What you say, what you say will equate to who you are. Think about this. 
and think about it hard. We've heard things like, oh, that's okay. That's all right. It, it's just how they talk in the, in the locker room. Okay. Okay. Um, first of all, um, no, it's not. And second, if it is, if it is, that, that equates with whoever is saying the words. It matches their persona. It, it is them. Okay? Listen, there are two ways to judge human character. Two ways. What people say, the words that come out of their mouth, and what they find laughable. Listen, here's how I'm going to judge you. Here's how I'm going to judge every human. The things that come out of their mouth and what they find laughable, what they laugh at. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So be careful. Be careful. And, uh, and be conscious of the <sighs> crap that falls out of our mouth. Be careful. All right? We are judgmental people. And I and many, many humans on this planet will judge you based on the things you say. True story. It's a true story. Be cognizant of that. Cognizant? Yeah, look it up. It's a great word. All right. I told you, I told you, I said short, short and sweet. Okay. Be careful about what you say and be careful about what you laugh at. Have a great day.